my own stock 6 Gen Z01 auto car. Just in case, because they're all LT4 cars, so. Keep spinning on there. What are you guessing? Um. Another one, 550 something. Mm -hmm. That's me. Let's go. What'd you say? I was gonna say. I think I'm gonna go 562 again. I don't know. Yeah, I'll go 555. 555 again? Yeah. I don't know how much the 10 speed versus the 8 speed is gonna. Are the V's 10 speed or 8 speed? Uh, I forget. I say he's 10 speed, I could be completely wrong. I don't know, I'm gonna say 560. Love this car. Starting on the Z01. Love this color. Full stage four. Yeah, with a uh, Cordis ice tank. Nice. Cordis? Cordis. That's in the trunk or under the hood? Trunk. Trunk, good. I hate the ones under the hood. Against the whole purpose. Man. Saturday night. Clocks go back. Wait, is it back or forward? Whatever the good way is. We lose an hour. So it goes forward. Yeah. I'll take it. It never gets me more daylight. Yep. Hopefully they stay that way this year. What happened to that? Who knows? Moving right along. Matt's got the little pan drop on this thing. Get ready for the cam install. Doing a little fuel system stuff right now. Yep, working on a new. Working on something new for you guys. See, I don't know if I'm ready to talk about it yet. Top secret. Something we, something we picked up at PRI. That'd be a great solution going forward on six gen Camaros and CTFDs. Uh, probably up to about the 900 horsepower level. Um, like the super max effort stage five stuff will probably go a different route, but I think this should support. 900 on eight. We're gonna try, we're gonna find out. Uh, I'm not sure, that's what I need to check before it goes back together. I'm going to assume so. You might as well. Usually we do them on the ZL1s, so... Is that new new? That's that real new.
face one side back or both sides forward? I always do opposite. Okay. It's been hot. Oh, shoot. You guys can see that. Yeah, a lot of discoloration with it. That's fucking super weird. Uh, what the fuck's that cam I just got the other day? I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Oh, I just literally just threw one away. See, so there's tons of outs and four cams back there. That's not good. Is that where it sits on the bearing? Yeah. Might have to check these cam bearings, guys. This car's like brand new. Yeah, it's... I wonder if it's more so. I don't see anything in the journals. I wonder if it's just how, like, in the... when it was made. Could be. Is there any scoring on it or anything? Probably just when it got cut. It's like even those small loops have it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm not worried about it. Like to be, like I said, this is a new, newer. This is like a 24 newer, so. Something to start seeing. I have to keep an eye out for that. This from when they cut the cams. See this there? All of the So what are you doing right here? I'm getting ready to install the lockout block in the cam phaser. So when you put an aftermarket cam in an LT, you lock out the phaser. Yep. So we delete the variable valve timing. Gotcha. We go grab one out of the back and I'll show you. Oh god. Oh boy. Put that baby in there. Did you got the bolt through it? Okay. That's a problem last time. Oh, it's, it's not, it's catching on the uh, thing. I don't think you're on the spring. I'm on the spring. Hold that. How far do you want me to go? Is that don't, good enough? Don't, yeah, don't pull it any further. Okay, I'm just gonna hold it. Just fucking hold it. Okay, I'm just holding it. Remember, we got a spring in here. Yeah, I know. Don't jerk, don't do nothing. I'm not moving a muscle, dude. Where the fuck is that spring at? Just get ready. I think it was on the lower side. 
hold your fucking hand here. There, I can see it. Hold that. I don't have this fucking go down there. Don't go too far, okay. Uh, yeah, I see it too. It's right, right on the bottom there. that fucking pin in there ASAP. Alright, this is the other problem, remember? No. Oh, pushed it out. I have not moved the moss spring. Yeah, I'm gonna have to push the spring down now. Watch yourself. Let me fucking go with this one. Yeah, it's Check you guys out. Kyle Celsius. Kyle fucking three o'clock Celsius slammer. <laughs> yeah! There it is. Boys are fired up this beautiful Friday afternoon. Here at WRPM. WRPM? You know, it's like. Radio like, station? Like the radio station? That's the last thing we need is a radio station here for a podcast. Could you imagine? Me and Eric are actually starting a podcast. Are you really? Yeah. That'd be great. What's it called? We've been going back and forth. What was our top name? Are you allowed to say them on here? I can't fucking remember. I can't remember <laughs> either. Two guys, one Corvette. Nice. Sounds awful. Yes. <laughs> that just was on the top of my head. I don't know. That one could go either way right there. We're, uh, we're going to work on something. But basically, we're going to talk about cars, obviously, and pretty much anything else that sparks our interest. All right. Well. So, everybody can look out for that in the near future. There you go. Do it. That's what all the cool guys are doing. I mean, that's what the Kelsey's do. That's it. Like they're like, they're like superheroes. Yeah, pretty much. Sick, I mean, the one dude's banging Taylor Swift, so that's pretty sick. It's a hell of an accomplishment, that's right there. Tell you something. Yeah, it's definitely gonna tell you something. He's doing something right. That's what he's doing right. He got paid a lot for that, though. You probably do the same. They give you, you know, a couple of mil. Do that? I'll pass. My health's more important than money. <laughs> not me. <laughs> <laughs> Couple million? I'd rather do that than suck a dick. You're not gonna die sucking a dick. No. I'll take my chance on the vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we did. I don't get edited out, don't worry. No, well, that's all we want in there. Alright. That's the stuff we want. The people want it. That's what we're gonna be talking about on our podcast. What would you do for a million dollars? I mean that's gonna be a hot topic for us. How you making out on this thing, Matt? Okay. Looks like you made a lot of progress. Heads on, headers on, cam in, valve springs in, ETI dampers on. Hopefully get the blower back tomorrow. Little update on this ZL1. <laughs> and I think we're still waiting for the blow. Unfortunately, so I think it'll hopefully be in tomorrow. Matt should be able to wrap this thing up once that comes in. Maybe tomorrow, right, for the blower? We're hoping so, anyway. Your guess is as good as mine. Now, is this one getting that new updated port, or is that just not a thing that's, anymore? That's not a thing. Okay. Not okay. anymore. But he was though, right? I'm not going crazy. You're okay. That's what I thought. Just a little update for you guys. If you're coming in for a fuel system, please do not fill the car up to the brim with fuel. It just makes it mess. It makes it harder for these guys to install a fuel system. Yeah, honestly, it'd be best if you can come in with the least amount of fuel as possible. There you go. You heard it from him. This thing looks like it's full. So 
So it's going to be interesting and fun to drain it so he can put in the fuel system and stuff. So it's going to be fun. Yeah, watch out here. That's a pretty good idea, huh? Yeah, please don't drop your car off in a full tank if you're getting a fuel system. Yeah, this is a mess. I like a soaking gas. Yeah. I didn't realize it was coming out of the service behind me. That was me yesterday, though. What'd you find? When you put a bigger tire on these things, there's a fuel pump harness right here. See where it's pushing out on the wheel well? Mm -hmm. See where the tire's starting to rub through the yeah. wheel well? No good. You gotta move that harness. So what's so cool about this new pump that you guys are trying out? So this is pretty new from K-Tech. Um, obviously two pumps, stock hanger. Nice. So utilizes just the factory harness for the first pump. It'll just run all the time and then gives you these external leads for the second pump. You can power off a hob switcher some sort of controller really whatever you prefer our instance will be a four pound hob switch nice so just makes you guys install a little easier well it might be if this thing will hold the power it'll be a game changer for Camaros and CTSVs sweet a little little spectacle spectacle is that, am I saying that right yeah I think uh I think he said it right. <laughs> Look at that. Drops right in. It's a beautiful thing. Did I speak too soon? Uh, just a lot more shit to get down in there. Crossover line somehow plugged in. I think it's hmm. 
one is very challenging. So much for just dropping it right in. It's like a little finesse, but it's like you got her in. I'll take that. Got the tanks back in and everything? Yep. How'd that turn out for you? Pretty good? Good. Got the lines ran for the fuel system. Got the new pump in already. Tanks are back in. Rock and roll. Matt over here banging out a uh, new course of cat back on this 6 Gen Z L1. Definitely going to sound good with these headers and that cam. Should be pretty sweet. Looks like Matt's got the uh, fuel system wrapped up on this thing. How'd it turn out? Good, I'm pretty happy with it. Looks pretty good. Oh yeah. And this is that new pump, right? You put in the tank? Yep. Worked out pretty good. K-Tech. Two in tank pumps, yeah. Install wise was pretty good, so. Yeah, that harness D twerk connectors for the second pump. Flex fuel. Just got all up. Very nice. Seems yeah, to be. Well, I'll get covered up by the shield. You never know. Seems like a cool build. Just like that. It's also got the coaster on. Of course, looking good. This thing's gonna sound sick. Can't wait to hear it. All right, looks like Matt finally got this ZL1 blower back from Kong. Looks like it's got that new updated design plate thing on it. Yeah, I have to say that that was my idea. I'm gonna go ahead and take credit. Well, you heard it from Matt. First time I saw that pile RTV, I was like, wouldn't it be a lot easier just to make a nice plate that sat in there? What bolt hole? Where do those bolt holes come from? I assume they tapped them. Looks pretty sweet. Definitely looks a lot better. But I guess all future exports will have that going forward. I think this is a, like a testing. I think we're testing it. Sweet. I don't know. See how it works. Yeah, sure it will. Looks like Matt's got the blower back on. Plumbing some of the ice chest. I remember how I did this. I think it was something like this. Something like that. Alright, so quick little update on this zero one again. Matt has ran some of the ice tank line up to the front. I guess either in order to turn, but you gotta have a boat. Um, so, yeah, moving right along. Got the tank mounted. Some of the lines are out. Doing a killer job back here. It's 
So what's next up for this thing? Uh, I'm waiting on a couple fittings. Um, so in the meantime, I'm just getting his old catch can mounted back up, changing the way all the hoses are routed, trying to make it a lot simpler design. A lot cleaner? Yeah. Looks good. You did a hell of a job with the uh, ice tank set up. Getting there, almost yeah, done. Yeah, pretty good. Get the, get the interior pieces off. Yeah, it looks damn good. I'll show you guys once it's more done, but it's coming along really well. Trunk's pretty done. You could show him. Is it? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Got the meth tank and the ice chest. With, with the factory trunk lining. So that looks really, really good. He killed it with that, so. The lines all ran through it as well. Hell yeah. That looks really good, dude. Yeah, good. Hell yeah. Is that a EDM that converter somewhere? Yes. There we go. There it is. Yeah, the small pulleys can take that little belt. They don't give you any room up front. Yeah, right off the throttle body. Yeah, tight. I was tight as a black wing though. No, the black wing is ridiculous. All right, first start on this stage five zero one. That's what we're working on. All right, that's fucking step one. He killed it on this install. Matt, you fucking killed it. Kill. You fucking killed. He it. killed. Hey, Look at it. It's fucking yeah. dead. It is gorgeous. Looks um, see what, what happens when you car? give people compliments around here. Looks like bolt on car. I don't know, fuck it, let's just start it. There we go. You guys got a fucking bolt on car over there? I mean, I assume yeah, it's full bolt on over here. I think we're ready to get over here. Uh, 20, the hell year is this thing? 2023, uh, ZL1 came from Ohio, got our full stage four package. Um, so full camp package, everything that comes with that. Uh, ATI lower balancer, uh, two inch American racing long tubes, Corsa valve cap back. Rotofed Big Gulp, Nick Williams 103, um, our low side fuel system, Kong Export 23 pulley, um, our meth kit, uh, cords, um, ice tank, P3 gauge with a Bellinger wideband, um, yeah, and transportation from Ohio. This thing already has uh, a set of drag radials and stuff on it, so let me see what this thing, can you pull up the baseline for this? It's a 2023. 549, 564 at baseline. Let's make a pull and see what this thing does.
775. I definitely did this in the wrong gear. I did it in fifth gear. I did it in the wrong gear. I got a wide van in here too, in case you're uh, wondering why I was looking. It was a little rich, taking some fuel out, added a half a degree of timing. This thing is loud, loud, by the way. I mean, Corsa is always loud, but this thing is loud, loud. any numbers 796 to pull before that be less pull before I let it cool down uh, do a final pull on pump and then dump some E in it this thing might make close to 900 cold on E we'll see
same little more torque, 878, 17, and 777 torque. Um, we'll let this thing cool down for, I don't know, maybe a half hour or so, and uh, we'll be back. Okay, let this thing cool down for like a half hour, run to a cold pool, then we'll throw some E in it. We'll see how much it'll pick up. Might make 840, which would be sick on pump. We do these ice tanks, they seem to not pick up anything cold. I'm gonna do one more and we'll see. I'm gonna do one more. I mean, they stay fairly cold when I'm doing cold, but it was, <laughs> AIT2s were like 15 degrees hotter before. Seven, seven eighty three. Uh, we'll dump some E in it. We'll be back. All right, put a little bit of E in it. It's uh, thirty two percent. See what we got. It's nice and hot now that I've been cycling the E around, but. Forgetting to open this exhaust. Thing's only on not even like barely 18 pounds of boost, which is great. Okay, made a couple changes. Let's see what we got. Mainly just fueling changes. I didn't change anything with timing, so it's probably not gonna make any more power. I'm trying to fatten it up a little bit up top.
I did that in the wrong gear. Ethanol actually dropped some, it's 47%. make any more power this time because it's still hot but I'm gonna uh, I just made a fueling change I just want to make sure it uh, is good and then looks like we still got a little bit more room to grow on the E also uh, so we'll try putting a little bit more in Maureen there this thing is scorching hot now because I've made back-to-back -back pulls and up to E three times in a row which is like I do heavy load and whatever um, this thing also is on a Mickey Thompson so if this thing was on a stock wheel and tire it'd probably make 20 more um, or more so it's at 54% E right now I'm gonna make one pull Make sure fueling and timing and everything is good, and then I'm going to let it cool down. Chris was recording back there the last like six poles trying to get a big flame. So he went up here this one and it just shot a big flame. <laughs> Air fuel's perfect. All right, I'm gonna let this thing cool down. It is hot. I was back there for all that. I know. I literally just said that. I'm like, last six pulls, he's been trying to catch a flame. The one time he goes up here, shoots a flame. Dude, is it that raining that hard out? Oh, man. It is pouring today and yesterday. Like three inches of rain the last two days. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> hey, let it cool down for a little bit. Not, uh, not too long. Maybe only like 20 minutes or so. But E is at 54%. Yo, please subscribe, by the way. It's good for us. Can you click on that? Can you click on that? 
855. That's probably all she's going to do. Air feels good. Timing's where it should be. Boost is where it's at. Fuel pressure's solid. You guys saw the fuel pumps we did in this. It's the first time we did them. Uh, and, you know, these things are badass. Um, at 6,500, it's got 84 pounds of fuel pressure. 97 pounds of oil pressure. I mean, this thing is perfect. Perfect high side pressure. She's good. I'm going to make a little change and then um, we're going to do a trans pull. Um, I'll try a four, five, six. I mean, this thing does have a tire on it. Um, I am doing a little auto upshift on this thing. Okay, first I'm gonna test the five six to make sure it does auto upshift. Then I will check a four five six. Five, six again. That might have been my fault. I should have flashed the ECM and the TCM because I made some changes on the ECM side and I didn't. I only flashed the TCM. Duh. So we'll see if I went too far this time.
right, it's the next day. It was right at five o'clock, whatever, yesterday. Um, and I didn't realize it. Uh, I'm gonna make a cold pull and then finish trans. This would be like a true cold pull. Cause yesterday, I think I only let it cool down for maybe 20 some minutes. Who knows if it'll make more? Maybe, maybe not. Made 8.55 yesterday, so. Close the throttle up top. Okay. It closed the throttle up top because I think it was too cold. Oh, okay. Not too cold, but I'll do one more. If it doesn't make any more power, then uh, we'll just move on the trans. I'm not too worried about it. Got a big flame. So, whatever. I'm gonna uh, make some change. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm just gonna do a five-six pull. I think it was trying to spin on the four-five yesterday, and that's uh, why it was giving us issues. thing's done I, I wish it had a stock tire on it um, because it would probably make like 20 more but in reality it baselined fairly low um, like 549 or something um, so it picked up 300 horsepower no matter how you look at it um, you know if this thing had a stock tire on it maybe it would have dynoed 570 or something stock um, but either way that's why we do a before and after because uh, all cars are different all setups are different so uh, I mean, this thing picked up like I think 305 horsepower, 306 horsepower, which is crazy because it still has a factory blower on it. Um, either way, solid power, solid setup, awesome car. I love the color. Uh, 2023 ZL1. I don't know how many miles are on this thing. Let's check. Just for uh, shits and gigs, you know? Because I know you guys like to know that sometimes. So if I could figure out how to turn this key on <laughs> sometimes when you like hold it and then then it like turns off you like shit come on here car what what am i doing wrong here here we go uh, let's see how many miles eight thousand eight thousand and sixty miles um this thing's done, it's solid, ready to go. Where is this thing from? This thing's from Ohio, Cambridge, Ohio. So be on the lookout, later.